Allegations of rape in the Australian Parliament have resulted in mass demonstrations across the country. Thousands have rallied against misogyny and workplace cultures that are dangerous to women. In the capital, Canberra, people gathered to protest as part of the March for Justice. The movement is demanding an inv investigation into sexual misconduct in Parliament House. Prime Minister Scott Morrison is under pressure over his handling of a series of rape allegations against politicians and staffers. Um, we are now joined from Melbourne by Sonia Terpster, a politician for Australia's centre-left Labour Party in the eastern state of Victoria. Uh, Sonia, thousands of women on the streets of more than 40 cities and towns. Uh, what's led to this? Yeah, well, um, as, you, as you were discussing earlier, the, um, there's been some very serious allegations of um, not only sexual harassment in our um, federal parliament, but also... Um, allegations of rape. So these are very, very serious allegations and many women across Australia and their supporters and allies are very angry and took to the streets today to protest against that. Mm. Uh, Sonia, Australia's Prime Minister Scott Morrison made a statement about the protests uh, in Parliament uh, today. Uh, let's uh, listen to what he had to say. So I acknowledge the frustration and share the disappointment of what has yet not been achieved, Mr Speaker. Members Mr. On my Speaker, left. those who gather outside this place today, an invitation was offered to them for a meeting with me here today. A good faith action, Mr. Speaker, but I respect their right of organisers to choose not to meet. Hmm. Uh, Sonia, your party is, of course, in opposition federally to the Prime Minister's. How would you rate the government's uh, handling of this? Well, um, if, if it's anything to go by the reaction across um, Australia today by women, it's an appalling response, really. It's not good enough. Um, women were calling for the Prime Minister to come out from Parliament House and to meet them on the forecourt, which he refused to do. And it's it's really is a provocative and inflammatory response and, and it's just not good enough. It's simply not good enough. So almost a decade ago, former MP Julia Gillard made a famous speech in Parliament against sexism and misogyny. Has really nothing changed in Australian politics since then? Yeah, look, it's, it's interesting. And the speech by our former Prime Minister Julia Gillard really did galvanise um, a lot of women um, because it really resonated. And I think... Um, many years have passed since that speech, but I think that certainly what's happened in the last um, few weeks has really meant for a lot of women that we can see that really things um, haven't really changed and women are calling for uh, much um, a much deeper commitment by our federal politicians to really stamp out sexism, misogyny, sexual harassment in the workplace and, of course, the very serious um, allegations involving rape. Women have had enough. It's simply not good enough. And, and women all around Australia are calling on our federal politicians to do more and to take our concerns very seriously. So it does seem that things really haven't changed. Thank you very much. Sonia Terpster, politician for Australia's centre-left Labour Party in the eastern state of Victoria.